These box sets from PSC are designed to be used in conjunction with Mortemek Glorium, aka Meg Ancient Rule Set. The idea being that there is everything you need in one box for a small, or pacto, game of Meg. This allows anyone interested in the rules to buy two boxes of opposing armies, base them up and start playing. The miniatures are of course of interest to anyone involved in gaming with 15mm Ancients, particularly as they are cast in a new sort of cross between plastic and resin called Ultracast, which the box blurb states is strong, flexible, holds paint well and requires no undercoat. The two boxes we received for review are the Sassanid Persian Army and the Late Roman Army. The Sassanid Persian box comes with two mounted generals, 22 heavy cavalry, 8 horse archers, 16 unarmoured infantry, 16 skirmishers and 2 elephants. The heavy cavalry come in a mix of bordered and unbordered horses and are all attacking with a two handed spear. The detailing on the miniatures is good with enough definition on the armour and barding to use washes or contrast paints to create depth and shading. The horse archers are all light horsemen shooting their bows to the front over their horses heads. Two of the light horse in my box had barding on their horses with the other six wearing no armour. The unarmoured infantry have spears, helmets and shields and are posed half attacking with their spears and other half standing. Both mounted generals come with their legs moulded to their mounts, both with separate upper torsos, so you can pose them how you wish. I found the fit between body and legs a little tricky, but nothing a little bit of filler or thick glue cannot cure. The real treats in the box were the elephants, who come with howders moulded onto their backs. They are both differently posed and come with a separate sprue on which is mounted a mahout, a warrior to go in the howder, two tusks for the elephant and the fourth side of the howder. This is a nice touch allowing you to paint the inside of the howder, position your warriors within it and then glue the fourth side into place. The late Roman box contains two mounted consuls, two mounted generals, eight caliphate cavalry, twelve armoured cavalry, eight horse archer cavalry, 24 armoured infantry, 24 unarmoured infantry and 16 archers. The Caliphate cavalry are, not surprisingly, fully armoured on bordered horses, with the detailing of the horse armour being particularly nice. The armoured cav consists of 6 half bordered horses and a further 6 with armour, but no horse barding. All the cavalry carry the distinctive oval shaped large shield which is cast with a central box but is otherwise flat. Which will make it easier to paint your own designs or perhaps to receive shield transfers. The six armoured cavalry with half barded barding are all carrying spears that are slightly wobbly, following the line of the rider's body rather than going straight up. One of the features of Aldrichast is that if you bend it, it will spring back to its original position and so with these I find it very difficult to straighten out the spears. The armoured infantry are very nice, casting chainmail with oval shields and carrying a variety of weapons including gladius, spears and darts. It was particularly pleasing to see the addition of an officer, musician and standard bearer for both the armoured and unarmoured infantry, one with the Draco standard and the other with an eagle. The infantry are posed in a number of dynamic fighting positions, including some crouching with their shield in front of them, allowing the potential to model a shield wall should you be so inclined. Also included for review were two bolster packs containing 32 Gothic infantry and the other 16 Gothic armoured cavalry. These packs maintain the quality of the miniatures in the box sets, but allow you to buy a few extra either to grow your army or to allow you to choose different options from the army list. There is a bit of flash on some of the miniatures that you will have to cut off with a sharp knife or scissors as the ultracast resin is quite tough and there are some mould lines showing especially on the infantry. However these are minor complaints when balanced against what you get for your money. I really like what PSC is trying to do here. Having all you need for a complete Meg army in one box makes the game and wargaming in general more easily accessible for those who are just getting started in the hobby, or for the more experienced amongst us who just want to try a new game of Meg. 
For a relatively small outlay you get everything you need to get you started and these box sets certainly show the potential of Ultracast as a moulding agent. This video has been brought to you by WI Prime, Wargames Illustrated Magazine's online members club. View more videos or find out more about WI Prime by following these links.